where to begin. <laughs> Let's talk about this on the internet. Well, that hasn't stopped me before, ever. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> here it goes, nothing. So, uh, this was huge on TikTok a year ago. I think probably longer than that. Um, but it finally hit Kindle Unlimited, so I read it um, at 3 in the morning when I was awake because of insomnia and ADHD-related anxiety attacks. So, um, on a 3 a.m. Kindle smut binge, as I am off to find myself in, I realized that Morning Glory Milking Farm uh, was now on KU and in the past when I have checked it was not on KU and that just was not something that I was prepared to purchase um, That's on me <laughs> So I read it And I don't know what I was expecting But it it simultaneously was like everything that I was expecting and like nothing that I was expecting like I knew what it was, but also like I didn't know what it was until you're reading it. Like I knew, I knew. I'd seen the TikToks, I'd seen the warnings. I've con I've con I've confused JV, who's now running over here to give me a screw. My dog is off camera, but he just ran over here to give me a screw. We're not playing fetch with that. He's trying to play fetch with the screw. We're not doing that. I'm honestly a little more concerned that you found a screw. Okay. Um. Anyway, speaking of screwing. <laughs> He's now doing zoomies. Speaking of screwing, which, what a segue. Um, yes, so this falls under the monster category of KU and smut, um, which is not for me. I love it. I love how unhinged people are. I'm in full support of it. Um, I just always find myself picturing dudes. Uh, so I, I miss, I, it just, it misses me. Um, no judge, no shame. I absolutely love seeing it. And I think the more unhinged, the better. Um, but this falls under the monster smut category. I'm about to find out all kinds of FYIs as to what YouTube doesn't like. Um, I don't even think I can monetize on this channel yet. And this is about to be demonetized. Um, <laughs> so it uh, falls under the monster category of KU and Spice. And it is a minotaur. And when you say milking farm, it is exactly what you think it is. And you're like, but it's a dude. And I'm like, yes. And you're like, but I thought you milked cows, females. And I would say, yeah, you'd be correct. But like kind of apply that principle and like what would, yeah, uh-huh. Basically she's like going in, she's got this job for a pharmaceutical research company, which I didn't, also didn't really like see that coming. There was like a very legitimate plot. I don't know what I expected. It wasn't that, but this girl gets a, wants to work in nonprofit, go figure, can't make any money um, after college in grad school, and to make ends meet, gets a job at a pharmaceutical company assisting subjects, all minotaurs, uh, in providing samples for little blue pills for humans. Yes, I know. I'm gonna let that sink in. Uh, this is a, a you know, in terms of world building, <laughs> In terms of world building, um, you know, there's basically lots of magical creatures and I'm pretty sure that like this book actually goes on to like have, it's, it's not a series, like it's, it's a, it's an enclosed thing. It's a standalone, but like she has other books in this world. So it's a whole world where there's multiple different species, goblins, elves, and like orcs, I'm pretty sure, and um, vampires and all this stuff. And our girl is like one of the only humans. Um, so she falls, has a crush on, I guess is maybe better to say, one of her clients who comes in. So like, that's a fascinating dynamic. One, we're just gonna like table the whole Minotaur thing for a second, okay? Like we're gonna just table that. Like just forget that, we'll come back to it. Just table that for a second, if you can. If you can even suspend reality for a moment and forget that we're not talking about like literal minotaurs um, who don't have like human faces, by the way. Like it is bull 
bull head, um, which I'm so sorry. Like most of this month was actually also like really well written. Like it's, it's good. Like, okay. Like she was hot. Um, but I can't get over how you would, how do you kiss a cow? Like how, cause it's a bull's head. So how, like, and there was a lot of kissing and I was like, how, like, I can't fully wrap my head around that, um, quite frankly. So I, I, I don't know. Um, but like then again, just suspend that for a moment. And she like develops a crush on one of her regulars who then also apparently like keeps requesting her at the place, the clinic, because she's good at what she does, which again is assisting clients and achieving a sample. I'm like trying to just apparently do everything I can and not say this <laughs> Um, but it's, it, I mean, it's like pretty, it, like it's sexual from the start because you've got that happening is like this girl goes to get a job and that's what the job is. Um, but then like the actual relationship, dare I say, <laughs> actual relationship is kind of a slow burn and like paced really well and it's interesting and they have conflict that, that, arises right <laughs> everything arises um you know so it's fascinating it was surprisingly I'm not gonna say surprisingly good because like I'm not saying that there's really really good authors in this genre that's not what I'm saying um but I mean I read the whole thing and I read it in like a day and I was like I mean I'm not reading this probably like most people. I just need you to understand I'm fully picturing a dude at this point. I just can't mentally like get my mind there. Um, but you know, it, she was spicy and it was, it was good. I don't know. I will not read any more of the series and this has really also affirmed for me that the genre is not for me, but I get it. I get it, you know, like, <laughs> I just, I can't get over the concept, truly, because, wow. I mean, points for ingenuity, because the whole thing was just an adventure from start to finish. Um, it was, again, I don't want to say, like, surprisingly good, but there was substance. I mean, you're reading it for, like, spice and the fact that she's fucking a minotaur. <laughs> Um, thank you, J thank you, JV. Uh, that's, like, why most people go to read it. But again, like, people really like Ice Planet Barbarians because they're like, their relationships are actually really well thought out and complex, and that's true. I read a couple of them. Um, I couldn't go on. I wasn't, again, it just never ends up being for me. Um, but, <laughs> it's a book. It is, it is a book. And I will just end this little eight-minute rant with, um... The book is about a book, you know? And if that is your thing, uh, if you like this genre, I think you'll love this. Um, and if you don't like this genre, I still almost kind of want you to read it because it is truly, and I say this with all the love and affection in the world, truly a real what the actual fuck, but good on the author. <laughs> I'm gonna go like, question all of my life choices for the next like 20 minutes and then uh we'll see where I end up <laughs> I will see you next time <laughs>